Hello everyone, Karan here from TechRevs. Yesterday we had the launch of GTX 1650 which was very underwhelming and hated by every reviewer including me. You can check out my opinion that I have over here. Now what we have been lucky right now is the notebook GPU that is going to come for the GTX 1650 is actually going to be really good. Here is my opinion of that. We were looking at the performance yesterday of how the GTX 1650 has actually been a very underperforming GPU for the most part of it. For a person owning a desktop, buying a GTX 1650 is basically a no-no. You know, rather go for a RX 570. Now, uh, there's a news item that has just come out and uh, it has been officially launched also. Uh, and no one is covering this. I'm very surprised that no one is covering this. The GTX 1650 is coming to your laptops and uh, the starting price is going to be 800 US dollars which is the same as uh, you can see uh, for how the GTX 1050 laptop started at, at $800. So uh, as you can see the news article over here, it mentions that NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti and the GTX 1650 coming to laptops. And they'll be focusing on you know gaming laptops, budget gaming laptops, as well as thin and light models. So I'm guessing max Q models would be there. Okay, so here is the uh, you know option over here. So NVIDIA GTX 16 desktop and laptop GPU specification. Now, uh, this is all fine. This is where I'm interested at. The laptop, uh, desktop and the laptop uh, GTX 1650. Let me just focus a bit more here. As you can see that it's again uh, based on TU117 platform and uh, there are 12 process. And, uh, okay, so here's the interesting bit. There is 16 instead of 14 shader models. So that's around 15% more performance right there. CUDA cores, instead of 896, there's 1024 CUDA cores. And automatically your TMUs increase to 64. Now what they have ideally done over here is, they have re reduced the base clock and the boost clock over here. If a manufacturer, or if you can buy a decent laptop where the manufacturer is trying to meet at the boost clocks and the base clock over here, on the extreme right, such so as 3095 and 1560, Ideally, you can get much better performance than what you would have gotten on the desktop uh, GTX 1650. Why I can say that is because of this. At teraflops, you can see 2.98 and over here is 3.19. If you can have a manufacturer do this really well, they can actually give you 3.19 teraflops. So that is something which is really interesting and uh, i'm really excited to actually look towards uh, you know towards it and uh, what this would eventually give it would be around 8 to 10 percent more performance gain and this is exactly what would be needed to at least come close or match an rx 570 or a gtx 1063 gb which is really exciting because that is the gap that we had seen earlier on uh, on our uh, earlier comparison in the video if uh, i can just show that over here the 13 game average over here was, uh, yes, GTX 1650, if you can see over here, was 78.3 and it was at 87.2. So this is around 13, 14%. So yes, what it can do is it can help it come a bit close to it, which is really exciting. And if this, uh, you know, if this uh, happens, which I know will be happening very soon, at $800 or maybe even at $850, this will be a bang of a deal. So, you know, guys, I am really optimistic for you laptop gamers over here. I'm really jealous by you because I just recently bought a GTX 1050 laptop around eight months ago and I don't plan on changing it. But for people who plan on buying this laptop, there has been a, there has never been a better time than right now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.